As the problem states, a square pyramid side of base 30 mm and axis length 50 mm has one of its side of base in HP. So that means we are going to draw the top view below XY. The axis of the solid is inclined to VP at an angle of 30 degrees that is phi. Right? And the VP that is 45 that is beta. Draw the projections of the apex uh, projections if the apex is nearer to VP. So now we will be drawing a square base with the side on the right side of side 30 mm. Okay, now what I'll be doing is I'll be naming these points as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, I'll darken it. This is 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'll be using a roller scale to dark the sides, the edges. And since this is the prism, then it will have a apex. So in order to draw the apex, I need to connect the opposite corners of the base. And intersection, the point here will be O. That is my apex. Now I have to produce all the points on XY line and then from the apex I need to measure 50 mm which is the height of the prism okay so over 50 mm somewhere over here is my point O dash. Okay, I'll name it using the black marker O dash. This is 1 dash, 2 dash, and this is 3 dash, 4 dash. I'll name this bottom point also O dash. Okay, now I need to connect the apex with the two reference points that we have. One. And two. Okay, so we have an apex and a side. So this is step number one, and this is step number two. Now, the first thing that they have given is that the angle made by the uh, solid with xy axis, that is with HP, is 30 degrees. Now, what we have to do? we have to draw a 30 degree line so i'll take this particular point as a reference point okay from here we need to draw a 30 degree line but then we need to identify whether if the problem goes beyond this xy line right? if it takes more space horizontally so instead of measuring 30 degrees what i will do is i will measure 60 degrees because once the uh, axis makes 30 degrees the base side will make 60 degrees line with it okay so i'll place my protractor over here like this okay and then measure 60 degrees over here i'll connect these two points with a line like this 
okay now this particular point is my point number 3 dash 4 dash and from that i need to take reference points like this this is 1 dash 2 dash fantastic this is 1 dash 2 dash then i'll measure 3 dash 4 dash to 0 dash that is the apex yes i am able to find it first mark and then I have to just check whether the same distance is there from 1 to so from there also put a mark over here. Now fortunately I know that this point is 1 dash 2 dash and this point is 0 dash. Okay. If I just darken the sides. And if I connect 0 dash with 3 dash 4 dash, now we need to also find this bottom 0 dash point. So I will again use my rounder, keep it on 3 dash 4 dash, measure the distance up to 0 dash. Connect it on 3 dash 4 dash, mark the point on line 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 3 dash 4 dash. I'll use this as 0 dash again. And now I need to connect this line. This is the axis of my problem. Axis is always drawn in the form of a long short line. Okay. So, and if I measure this angle over here, I am quite sure that I will get a 30 degree angle. Something like this. Yes, so the angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. Now, in order to, this is this step 3 actually. Now, in order to draw the fourth step, I have to project all the reference points from step 3. This is reference for 1 dash, 2 dash. This is for bottom 0 dash. This is for 3 dash, 4 dash. And this here is for apex. Okay, similarly, I have to also project all the points horizontally with this one. This is 2. This over is 3. Now I have to name these points. Since this is step 4, I need to be very, very clear about which line is the dotted line. So this one dash line and this one line will produce 1. This 2 dash, 1, 2 dash line and 2 line will produce 2. Here it will be 3. Here it will be 4. This is the bottom O dash. And this is the top O dash. Okay. Now my observer is looking down from the top. And the farthest point are two points actually 3 dash and 4 dash. So all the points or all the lines connecting. 3 dash and 4 dash they have to be dotted. Right? Even this 2, 3 line should also be dotted initially. This 1, 4 line should also be dotted initially. Now I will use my roller scale.
Okay. Now the remaining side should be dark. So I will use the black color again to darken the sides. One two is dark. One zero is dark. Two zero is also dark. Now the question remains that as per the rules of the dotted line, you cannot have the periphery or the outline of any object as dotted. So this 2, 3, 3, 0, 4, 0 and 1, 4, these cannot be dotted. I have to darken them. So I'll just do it quickly like this on top also similar fashion. Here also I have to just darken it. The last line I should also darken this particular side. Now this O dash O dash is the axis which as we know is a long dash line. So this is step number 4. Now, as we have completed the four steps, now I have to draw the fifth step on the right side of step four. But they have given that the angle of the top view or angle beta of the axis O dash O dash makes 45 degree angle and the apex is nearer to VP or closer to XY. So I will be taking a point over here. This is my reference point. There is no linkage with this point actually okay so i have taken this point i'll measure an angle of 45 degrees something like this okay now i have to draw this line so i have drawn a very light line over here on that I will take one point as O, this is O, this is the apex. Now from the apex I will measure first the top view of the, uh, of the axis. So this is the length of the top view. So from this O I will place a point over here. That's good. This is the bottom reference point this is again O. Now I have to take all these points 1, 2, 3, 4 and I have to place them on the periphery of this bottom. So for that what I will do is I know that point 3 and point 4 are equidistant from the apex. So I will choose one of this length. Right. I will keep my rounder on this. Similarly, I know 1 and 2, they are also equidistant from O. I will take one of the references. I will draw a longer curve over here. This is the end, right? Then I have to measure the distance from the bottom reference O also. And to your surprise, all these points are equidistant from O. Right, so if I draw a circle, then I have already received all the required reference points. This point is 1, this point is 4, this point is 3, and this point is 2. Now I have to just keep on connecting the lines, right? I will draw it in blue now to avoid any confusion, okay? So the 1, 2 line is dark. I will connect 1 with 2 with a dark line. Then 1, 4 is dark. 
टू थ्री इज डार्क टू जीरो इज डार्क थ्री जीरो इज ऑल्सो डार्क वन जीरो इज डार्क फोर जीरो इज डार्क The only dotted line is between three and four. So I'll just have to create a dotted line over here. Now, can you see that we have created an exact replica of this at an angle of forty-five degrees, which is a beta. Okay. Now, what I will do? I will just darken the axis using our regular black line. okay this is over okay now what i will do i will have to project all these points i will have to project all these points from this step 5 upwards okay so i will use that all the points the most important point the apex okay similarly we have to project all the reference points rightwards from step 3 okay i have to mark the intersections i will mark it with a red color this is the apex o then this particular point is 4 dash this particular point is 3 dash this over here is 1 dash this over here is 2 dash this is zero dash now the observer is looking from down here upwards the farthest point is the apex so all the points connecting apex they are dotted so i will join all the points with a dotted line like this all the other lines are darkened so this one 4 is dark 2 3 is dark 1 2 is dark and this 3 4 is also dark now we have to connect the apex With the base, just this point, and this will be a long short line. Right now, the last part is we know that no periphery can be dotted, so this is the periphery line. I have to darken it. This three zero is also a periphery line. I have to darken it. the remaining two lines i can check that this point 2 is the apex point or it is the closest point so this line will not remain as dotted i have to darken this point also now the only dotted line is 0 4 which is the farthest one this is step 
and this one is the last solution. So that's it guys, this is the end of this problem. As you can see, it is complete over here. 